one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Faith-Based Business Podcast. Pastor Bob Thibodeau, we're so blessed that you're joining us today. Today, I have on Stephen Snook. He is a former prisoner for 20-plus years uh, in the federal prison system. His life up to, well, that put him behind prison, let's just say it was not uh, one that people should follow as an example, but God has used him since he got it. He met him in prison, and he's, oh, his story is so awesome. I want you to hear it today because God's given him a talent and a dream that is going to impact this world in ways that is just unfathomable how deep this can go. Amen. So I want to welcome to the program right now, Stephen Snook. Steve, thank you for taking the time to come join us today. It's great to have you here. I've really been looking forward to this conversation today. And I, I was inspired by how, you know, you were basically didn't even know God had all the circumstances in life were against you and everything that happened to you, God allowed to happen in order for you to get to a position where you could finally sit still long enough for him to talk to you, basically is what it was. But I want you to, to briefly share your story, your background with our listeners. Sure. Uh, born to a 15 year old mother, I um, already had an older brother, so I was her second child by the time she was 15, grew up in poverty. She couldn't take care of us. She set us by the street, called the cops to come and get us, put us in foster home. I was eventually transported to Illinois, raised by a, a, an aunt, essentially, who married very badly. I was raised by alcoholic, uh, abusive ex-military men and just um, grew up in that life, man. Started, started in a life of crime at 15 years old. By the time I was 19, I was a, a career drug smuggler already going to jails all around the country. I had criminal convictions in multiple categories, grand larceny, trafficking drugs. I had a 17-year-old girlfriend when I was 21. I went to prison for three years. I came out right back into drug trafficking. I got arrested by the FBI and DEA when I was 26. My only co-defendant was my 22-year-old wife and um, went to federal prison, man. I ended up serving 19 years straight in federal prison. But um, in 2003, less than a year into that sentence, man, I got radically born again. Amen. Amen. And now you've been released. But while you were in prison, God gave you a dream. And, and how was it? What was this dream? And how are you developing it now to bless other people? Because these pe people need to know about this. Sure. Absolutely. Well, as you know, Bob, I started a, a just a, a very vigorous routine of prayer and fasting over the years. The last six years, I was in a constant state of prayer and fasting for long periods of time. The Lord began to speak to me through a series of dreams, sometimes specific words of knowledge. It might be a person's name. It might be the name of a book that would come flying into my cell the next day. Just amazing the way the Holy Spirit does. And in 2020, he gave me a dream and he showed me some scriptures on the wall. And he showed me those scriptures rotating on the wall in a decorative frame. And I told the Lord, I didn't know how it would work. I didn't understand technology. I'd never used a smartphone. I'd never used fa Facebook and all that other stuff hadn't even been invented. And the next night he gave me another dream and showed me exactly how it would work. Mm -hmm. So I kept that in my heart for two years. And after uh, those two years were up in February of 2022, when I was released, uh, the Lord spoke to me and said, if you don't do something with that idea I gave you, I'll give it to someone else. So we just began on a journey with just a little smartphone that my daughter gave me that I didn't even know how to use. And now I have just an awesome business that is producing scripture frames that do, that are for people like me or people that just don't want to have to download an app or sign up for a subscription or have the Internet. It's just plug and play. They're decorative. They come in various sizes. They're perfect for shelves, desks, walls. And what they do is they just rotate a new inspirational scripture as often as a person would like. Mm. If now that is, is what the owner can decide if he wants it to, op, you know, rotate a new scripture every minute or every hour, or just maybe once a day. And people choose differently. I've, I've asked the customers, they like them in different ways. And um, every scripture that's on there, Bob, I have prayed and fasted over. I mean, this Amen. is the meat right here. This is the stuff that you really want for one of your loved ones to walk by and read that scripture and be like, man, that's awesome. You know, what is that right there? Well, that's that's a promise out of the Bible right there is what that is. How many scriptures are included in that? 
I put 183 on there Great. so that if you put it on there to, to rotate once a day, you would only see the same scripture twice in a year, but you could have it rotate, you know, once every hour and it'll just continuously do that. It won't run out. You can use it year after year after year like that. But I am in the process now of producing more scripture packs so that I'll have scripture packs that if somebody in your family has cancer or they're, un, you know, they're ill for whatever reason, I'm working on scripture packs right now that are just going to be healing scriptures. Mm -hmm. You put that in the room with them and it's just going to constantly, constantly rotate God's promises on healing from Genesis to Revelation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, Amen. As you were developing this, what was one of the major obstacles you faced in creating this? Well, of course, we didn't know if it would work. And I was dealing with the uh, the director of technology commercialization from Bradley University here in central Illinois. And he wasn't sure if the idea would work, but I convinced him. I said, man, I received this from God. He's not going to have me try to do something that can't be done. So Amen. once we were able to figure out the technology and that it would work, then, of course, you had to secure a manufacturer, which is very difficult. And, you know, and so it's it's just a huge process, you know, but it man, God is so good, man. He's so faithful. He protects you all along the way. It's his word. He wants it out there. It's not coming back void. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're instructed to meditate on this word so that things will be well with us. Amen. Amen. Now that you're helping others with this, uh, how is your business growing? Are orders coming in? Yeah, orders are coming in. And I'll tell you right now, it's it's been predominantly through individuals. Now, where there are right here in this community, I have four businesses now that take them and they display them. One of the biggest sellers that we have is jewelry stores mm. uh, where people go in and buy earrings and necklaces and wedding rings and stuff. And they just display these, these Christian scriptures and people walk by and say, man, what is that? And how does that work? And how much are they? You know yeah. what I mean? And they just, I, so far our customer satisfaction, I know this is going to sound crazy to your audience. We have never had somebody say, you know, I really don't like this. Everyone that's ever got one has wrote us back and say, listen, these things are awesome, man. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that God will take it on to a much larger scale. I believe his vision is to get this into more homes and more offices. You just never know, folks, when you're going to have this sitting on your desk at work. One of your coworkers walks by and looks at it almost every day and thinks it's a neat little toy or whatever, and they don't pay a whole lot of attention of it. And then one day they walk by and that verse is there. Mm. That one verse is there that they can hold on to in that dark moment of depression or that dark time in their life when they're not getting along with their spouse, they can draw off the strength of that one verse that they yeah. read from that scripture frame. Yep. Amen. Amen. That is so awesome. And, and, you know, now that you're, you're in this growth stage, what is your next level? What's the next thing that you're trying to get into? I mean, is it, you know, getting into the big box stores or what are you trying to look forward to? Well, what I'm what I'm trying to do, Bob, is, is in the growth, I want to just expand it. I want to expand it across the United States, whether it's through Etsy, which I'm currently working on right now, through my website, which you know is Jesus Speaks LLC, which the LLC stands for Life, Liberty, and Christianity. Amen. And, uh, you know, I just want to get it out there more. I wouldn't mind seeing it uh, picked up by big institutions, and I believe God is opening a door for that hospitals, Amen. retirement communities, things of that nature. You know what I mean? It's just, I, Essentially, when it comes to this, it's me and the Holy Spirit. I am the social media. I am the sales. I am the, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to do all these things by myself, but God is putting the right people in my path to make this incredible idea that is his turn into a multi, multi, multi million dollar business. You know what I mean? So Amen. yeah, I'm looking for all opportunities to grow. Amen. Praise God. Stephen, I want to thank you for taking the time to come on and share with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Maybe something I forgot to ask. Well, I would like people to go to my website. If they have a chance, they can see what these scripture frames look like. And I know you'll put a link up there for that. Um, and, and if people are interested, you know, reach out to me, reach out to me through the website, get on the email there. They can contact me through whatever links that, that you may have right there. And I'm interested in hearing from other Christian businessmen. You know, I'm a big believer in Christian brothers and sisters coming together to further the kingdom, especially something like this, guys. We're not selling cars, man. You know what I mean? We are putting God's word, these scriptures into places where they need to be. Amen. Amen. This is so interesting. I'm positive that some of our listeners were able to get something out of this interview today and and on what you're doing and how you can help them. <sighs> Folks, the idea of having these scriptures just in your home, on your desk, where you know you might be facing a problem and you look up and there is an inspirational scripture from the Lord 
at that moment in time that just ministers to you. That God's basically saying, you're not alone. I'm here with you. We got this. You know, I mean, you can't even begin to fathom how that's going to minister someone. I, I've shared my testimony before. Where one verse out of the Bible changed my entire life forever. At my lowest point, one verse from the Bible did that. And folks, these scripture verses will do it for you, your loved ones. I encourage you, drop down the show notes, get in touch with Stephen Stook, click the link on the website, go check out these frames. Folks, they're beautiful. They're, they're, this is not just some shabby thing. These are high quality, they are great, and they will minister to you as well. Stephen, one more time, give us your contact information. Jesus Speaks LLC.com. Amen. Amen. That's the website, folks. Click the link, check these out, order one for you and your, your kids. If they have families of their own, your mom, dad, grandparents, these things are a blessing everywhere you'll put them. And you're sowing the word. You're sowing the word. You can't sow the word without expecting a harvest. Praise God. Stephen, thank you again for coming on the program, sharing with us today. God bless all that you're doing to get his word out into all the earth. I praise you for it in Jesus' name. Folks, that's all the time we have for today. For Stephen Stook, myself, Pastor Bob Romani, be blessed in all that you do.